Hello everyone, this is Jackie Pride, and I wanted to go over the Emperor card from the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Um, as a serious student of Angel Therapy teachings by Doreen Virtue, I figured if you saw how I read the cards, maybe it would help you, you know, when you're doing your readings. I know that when I watch other readers, it helps me with my readings. So, um, the Emperor card is linked with Archangel Michael. So you could say that Archangel Michael is coming in as a celestial guide when this card comes up. And the Emperor card is all about the way that I read the card is that like confidence and self-esteem issues are rising to be healed. This is a very stand on your own two feet um, proactive card. A lot of times the only way we really feel like we can have solid confidence is if we've proven ourselves. And so, like, what's one way you prove yourself? Like maybe getting a degree or a certification in something. Something to prove that I've gone through um, steps to get this result. Um, it's the kind of card that you look around and you go, okay, this is a problem. And hopefully having the awareness to realize that if you are aware of a problem it means you're being called to be part of the solution and so that's where the proactive side of this card comes in that there's something that needs to be done and do you have the confidence to do it so Archangel Michael comes in to heal whatever confidence issues and splits in our personality that we have so that we can confidently go forward and create honest to God changes um, in our lives or in the lives of others this card is about commitment it's about having um, it's just about having that sort of like drive that integrity to say uh, okay I'm gonna give my word and be committed to this until the result the final result is what I want it to be and um, I pulled the three cards out of the Archangel Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue that represent Archangel Michael so that you can get a gist of his energy. The first card is Crystal Clear Intentions and it says, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So when this card comes up, it tends to point out that you have been experiencing frustration over trying to do something and something always kind of seems to happen to stop the flow you know like um, you know what it is you want to do but I guess from the bigger picture you're experiencing like problems with doing it so the, I think Archangel Michael would be coming in to say first of all maybe those obstacles are happening to just test how much you really want to do it right um, if you really truly want to do something, you will you will just figure out a way to get past those obstacles. You'll wait for a better time. You'll ask people for help. You'll you'll find an alternate way to get what it is you want. You know you will battle through those obstacles. If you really don't, if your heart isn't, if you're not being called to do it, if you really aren't, you know, don't want to do something, it, the obstacles will just, oh, you'll, you'll probably be like, oh, I probably just shouldn't be doing this. So, in a way, the Crystal Clear Intentions card reminds me of sort of like a little earthly test. Like, you're going to be tested to see how bad do you really want this. Um, that's why it's saying, focus upon it with unwavering faith. If you know you're meant to be doing something, you're going to do it in spite of the problems in spite of the obstacles, in spite of the frustration to getting what you want. It also is kudos to instant manifestation and rapid manifestation. The more clear we are on details, the faster it will manifest. Um, this to me means we need to get super clear on details. It's like not enough to say, I want a new Oracle deck you've got to go on the internet and figure out like I really want this deck it's called this it was created by this person and this you know publisher sells it I can buy it online or at this store for this much money it's like getting crystal clear on what you specifically want 
Um, so Archangel Michael comes in to help us um, replace all the vague, hazy details with actual genuine, like, does this exist? Yes, it does. This is how much it costs. This is what I need to do to get it. And let's do it. Like, um, again, it's about confidence, healing. If you don't believe that you can have something or do something, you're going to have a harder time manifesting it. So I think at the very core of this card, Archangel Michael is coming in to heal the confidence issue that would keep you from having the tenacity to go after what you want and stick to it. Now, maybe what you want is going to take some time. You know, maybe you have enough money to buy, like, uh, you know, a car like, it's an okay car, doesn't flow, I mean, it's, it gets you from point A to point B, but you're not feeling all, you know, spectacular about it. You're not getting in this car and going, this is my car, I love this car. But it does what it's supposed to do. And then there's a car over here that it does make you, every time you get in it, you go, I love this car. But it might take you two more years to get this one. So then, if you really want this car and you decide, I want that one. I want to wake up every day and go, I love this. Versus, and that's just a car. If you want to be over here, Archangel Michael would help to heal whatever confidence issues and you know, are there so that you have the patience to go for the gold. Okay, so when Archangel Michael comes in, it's always about healing whatever is going to keep you from shooting for what it truly is that you want. Nobody wakes up and goes, oh, this is the life I want. I want to feel stressed out about money. I want to be overweight. I want to look in the mirror and um, hate who I see. I want to uh, yell at my kids and um, have a crappy relationship and I want to hate my job. Nobody wakes up and, and, and says that. But a lot of people manifest that. Why do a lot of people manifest that? Because they haven't learned yet or they're in the process of learning that they actually can have the life they want. They can have the body they want. They can have the relationships they want. They can have the life they want. But it really does stem from, do I have the confidence to shoot for that? And the confidence means you're willing to do the work it requires. So when Archangel Michael comes in, you know, get prepared for stuff to happen. You're going to be asking yourself the hard questions, and you're going to be seeing how committed you are to the highest standard. Um, the second card is remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. These are very powerful words, okay? If you were brought up around people who are critical, judgmental, a lot of verbal abuse, they just don't talk this way. Um, or maybe it's God loves you if you do this, 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 and this. See, listen to the words. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. It's not you are loved when you do nice things. So, remember who you are. You are a very powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. This, to me, is kudos to subconscious reprogramming, affirmation treatments, um, learning how to take the negative stuff out of your head and replace it with positive stuff. It means deep inner healing, clearing work is going to happen so that when you look in the mirror, it's not your negative mom's voice you hear. It's not that sibling that always had to put you down to make themselves feel better. It's not that in-law that was jealous of you and, and so did hurtful, said hurtful mean things about you that weren't true. It, you're not going to be hearing those voices. You're going to be hearing your own voice of your soul. That's the voice you want to hear. So deep, deep inner cleansing, inner purification happening when this card comes up. Remember who you are. He's going to be guiding you to getting rid of all that negative junk and reconnecting with that inner voice that knows who you are and has always known who you were from the beginning, your soul. 
And the last card is you are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones in your home and your car and all your possessions um, and your integrity and your dignity and your work. You are safe. And it's like he's blocking the road there from letting anybody pass who would be detrimental or have a troublesome effect. All right, so he, that, this card brings in the reminder, divine protection. When you, when you know you have protection, you don't tend to be afraid. You're not afraid to say what you, what you really think and feel. You're not afraid to speak your truth. You're not afraid to stand up. You're not afraid if somebody withholds their love. You know, this is like, reminds me of situations where people, um, instead of standing up for what's right, they just start to get real self-like. Well, if I stand up and say this, this person's going to get mad or this person's not going to love me or I'm going to create more problems by stating my truth because I don't agree with what they're doing. When you compromise your truth and you don't feel safe to say what is your honest to God's truth, you're not going to be able to create positive, healthy relationships anyway because then you're just playing it safe. And Archangel Michael is saying, you don't have to play it safe. You already are safe. You don't want to be around people that make you feel like you have to do certain things for their approval and their love. Because I promise you this, there are people out there in this world that will love you for who you are simply because that's who you are. Those are the people you want to connect with. And maybe you're being Flip it over. Maybe you're being like dabbling in drugs, getting into sex addiction, doing things that are, are a little bit shady. And the people that you want to love you have a higher standard for you. Then Archangel Michael would come and say it's safe for you to change so you can meet that higher standard and receive that love. There are people in this world that I don't like people that lie. So if you, if you prove yourself to be a liar or someone that is not, doesn't have enough respect for the truth to stand up for the truth, I probably won't talk to you that much. Um, the people around me have to come up to that level. So it's, all, it's also about having standards. You're, it's safe for you to have standards. It's your standards that become your energetic boundaries. Okay. So when Archangel Michael comes in, it's a lot of self-healing that's going to be occurring. And with the Emperor card, it all ties in with um, you can shake and bake and shake and move in this world when you're coming from a place where you feel safe to be who you are and you're not afraid of the people around you. You're not afraid to be alone. You would rather be alone than be around people who lie and steal and cheat, right? You're, you're not afraid. It's like he's getting that fear out of you, remembering who you are healing yourself of all that abuse that's in this world, getting it off of your energy, getting it out of your system. If you're brought up around abusers, it rubs off. You may not be an abuser, but sometimes you do things that it's just learned behavior. That's where he, that's what he's helping you to undo. Like if you grew up with someone that was always yelling and throwing stuff around, when you really get pushed to the edge, you might find yourself doing that, even though that's not your characteristics. So he helps you to heal that kind of thing. Um, crystal clear intentions. Again, it's about that highest standard and clearing out whatever stops you from shooting for what is the highest standard for you. And um, again, it's a very proactive card. When the emperor comes up, it means it's, it's time to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And he gives us the confidence to be part of the solution. All right. I hope this helps everyone. And um, God bless us all. And I bless us all with enlightenment. Bye-bye.